both the good and the bad. The good is that the toy is a really cute little octopus. It took about two hours to charge and it lasted for about two days. So that's great. There are different modes and they're listed on the bottom of the toy so that it's really easy to reference and simple to switch between them. Shu really loved the whack-a-mole mode with feathers and although after two days she's less impressed with it uh, after playing for a long time. She still watches it go back and forth in the cavity, but she is less likely to pounce. Sometimes she caught the feather, which turned the whole toy on its side. The toy kept working and neither the cat nor the toy was harmed by that, but it kept working. So it comes with three extra feather replacement, which feels like is a really good idea because the cat can destroy one of the feathers pretty easily. It has a sound and motion sensor, so if you leave it on, your cat can actively stay and play with it while you're gone. The sensor works, but unless it's already on, it's not as uh, tempting, I guess, for a shoe. One disadvantage of that toy is that your cat might be more interested in the actual toy moving than the laser itself. Uh, the head moving side, side to side is really interesting, it might be kind of a distraction from the laser itself. We were a bit concerned about having lasers directly in the cat's eye. So we didn't use that mode for long. Uh, overall, it was a fun uh, toy. And after playing with it a while, it looks like uh, we need a little break. But obviously, taking it out in a different time would be also fun to rediscover. I think if you're planning to leave town for a couple nights, having the cat stay on its own, it's a really good idea to leave that on and with a sensor, the toy would be able to turn on as necessary and that's a really big plus.